Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to set up a simple inbox system inside of Workflowy, why you might wanna do this, and a couple of different examples to get you started. So first of all, why would we wanna do this? Basically, it gives you a nice single place to dump everything. So if you're someone that takes notes on sticky notes, or has a journal, or has a bunch of documents, or you're used to doing that, uh, it tends to be pretty difficult to then find all that information because it's scattered everywhere. So setting up a single place inside of Workflowy means that your information is gonna be in a digital format. It's gonna be available everywhere on the desktop, on your mobile devices, because you can download the application. Um, and you're never gonna lose anything, basically. As long as you make it a habit, you're always gonna have your information when you need it. Second, you're more likely to actually use it. So going back to that example, if you're like me that has a bunch of sticky notes and a bunch of things that you put everywhere, then, I mean, it's, it's very common that you just kind of lose that information, you forget it, you're not able to build upon it or connect it to other things. So it ends up just being kind of busy work, right? You write down a note, then you forget about it or you lose it. And then you have to kind of remember all, all that stuff that you wrote down all over again. If you have one place where you put that, um, it's just not gonna happen. And then finally, it gets you into the habit of writing things down. So the fact that it is so easy, it's in one single place inside of Workflowy is a lot more easy uh, that it becomes a habit. So if you're not someone that is used to taking notes or putting things in a one specific place or being very organized, making it very easy to do is, you know, it's gonna get us one step closer to actually turning it into a habit, doing it, and then being productive with all that information, all those notes, all those things that we remember that we've got to do um, if we get, you know, turn it into a habit. So now we're gonna go through a couple of different examples and I hope this will inspire you to take one of these systems and modify them to suit your needs. So like everything in Workflow, these are just examples, but uh, because Workflow is so flexible, the idea is that you'll take these and modify them so they become the perfect systems for you, basically. So the first example is a simple inbox system. We're gonna look at two different versions. The most basic one is just with a to-do board. So we'll zoom in on this bullet here. We have our inbox bullet. And if I open it up, we've got some different items. Um, this is just, you know, random a random collection of things. A grocery shopping list, right? Some things in here. Uh, there's a task in here. I need to switch car insurance companies. And then uh, what operating system do the Mars rovers use? So that's an idea for a podcast episode. In this example that I've laid out, we're imagining that this person, uh, their job is uh, as a podcaster. So, you know, they're coming up with ideas or thinking about new podcast uh, topics. This would be something that they that they, you know, consider. So below that, I have a to-do uh, board. This is just one way to do this. Um, it's a very simple Kanban style uh, board. We've got this week, kind of just holds all our items for the week, then today, the stuff that we're working on today, and then the done section when we've finished uh, an item. But of course, this could just be a today bullet, or, or you could even just call it to-do and just make a list if you prefer to do it that way. Uh, next, we've got work and life, and so they each have their own, I mean, they're separated and they've got their different areas, so work has projects, things like that, meetings, life has uh, chores and thoughts, so what we would do at the beginning of every day, uh, we want to empty out our inbox, so do this at least once a day, uh, you could do this obviously two, three times a day, depending on how much stuff you put in there, uh, but in the very beginning, if you're not, not used to having some sort of an inbox system, at least do it once a day, and do it probably at the very beginning of the day so you can pull out all those items so the first thing we do is sort these items so let's see like go grocery shopping this is a personal item it's a personal task it's a chore I'll just drag it and drop it right here uh, switch car insurance company that could be a chore that could be a project depending on how many steps how complicated it is uh, but for right now we'll just drop it in chores to, to simplify this example here and then what operating system do the Mars Rovers use? That's an idea for an episode. So that's in work and under ideas for episodes. We'll just drag and drop that right here. Cool. So there we go. That, it's as easy as that, just to take those items and, and sort them into the different areas. Next, what I would do, let's say that uh, I open up the chores again and I open up the to-do board. I would pull some of these items out and mirror them into the board. So let's say that I want to... Uh, yeah, let's just handle switching car insurance company and going grocery shopping this week and uh, changing the car's engine oil as well. So we could duplicate these items using the keyboard shortcut or copying and pasting. I'm gonna mirror them because that's that's just nicer. Uh, it lets us duplicate the item, but also uh, any changes that you make to any of the mirrors are automatically updated to all the other mirrors. So um, we can leave them in chores, but we can also drag them out into this week and, you know, uh, 
not not have to worry about if we make an update into one of these uh, you know remember oh did i did i update the one that was in the board or, or the one that's in my chore section it doesn't matter you can update it wherever you want so to do that i'm going to select several of these items and then we're going to get this little uh context uh widget so i'll just click on mirror you can also use the keyboard shortcut that's going to be different depending on what operating system you use it'll show you the right keyboard shortcut and i'll just create a new bullet here and paste them so that's how we would add them to this week and then once i start to work on them let's say today i want to go grocery shopping and i want to change the car's engine oil i'll just drop them in here and then move them into the done column once i'm done with them so very simple system let's zoom out just one level and we'll move over to the example with a calendar it's very it's basically the exact same example the only difference is that if you tend to have a lot of items that are very uh you know time sensitive that have a lot of due dates then you would just add an, another step which is a calendar right here so again once a day at least at the beginning of the day preferably you would go through your inbox if you have items that have a specific due date then i would just drop them into a calendar bullet so what i've got right here is just you know a bullet says calendar and below that uh, or inside of that we've got all the different months and inside of each month i have all the days so what that allows me to do is then perform a search uh, especially it's especially useful with the more advanced searches um so of course you could just search for something like today and it would give you today's date whatever that day is uh, you could search for this week and it would give you all the days for the week from monday to sunday this month uh, next week last week all those work so as long as you're you know remembering these to put these things inside of your your inbox and you're sorting them into the right uh day you're going to be able to find them when you need them so that's just another way to uh incorporate the inbox system if you've got a lot of items that uh that are very date specific and even and even if you don't uh you could still use this system it's, it's pretty simple just to add that additional step so next we're going to move on to an example with multiple inboxes the idea here is that again we've got our uh instead of an inbox i just call it capture but it's got it's it's the same functionality this is a uh, a section that you would uh star so for example and with all the inboxes i would recommend that you star them so you open them up just like i've done right here and then you go into the menu bar and you click on the little star to star the item the benefit of doing that is that you have it now in the left hand sidebar right here that makes it easy to uh, drag and drop items in there uh, it's, it's very handy you just click on it and you jump to that no matter where you are in your workflow document but the added benefit is that when you're using workflow on a mobile device so you're using one of the apps you know you might not want to fiddle with a complex or a long workflow uh, document well that's not a problem you can simply open up the left hand sidebar on uh, on android or ios open up the capture section and just create a new bullet and start typing there because you're not worried about sorting or tagging or things like that at that moment, it makes it a lot easier to just have one single place when you have an idea, no matter where you are on the street and you know, out for a jog at your job, at school, whatever, open it up, create a new bullet, just jot that down. And then later when you're at your computer or even later on the mobile device, if you prefer to work like that, uh, you can sort it, but you're not going to forget anything. So just having that nice system that's super easy and always available uh, is going to just do wonders for you in terms of getting organized and not forgetting anything. So once we've started this item, I'm going to just zoom out here. Uh, so again, the idea for, for this system with the multiple inboxes is that this capture section, again, captures everything. But for example, let's say that it's Monday morning, you know, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm working and so I've got a bunch of items here that are not related to my job. It could be, you know, it'd be very easy for me to get distracted and start focusing on things that are not related to my job just because it's hard, right? Being, being concentrated 100% uh, of the time is, is pretty tough, especially tough for some people more than others like myself. So the idea with this capture section, uh, it's very similar to the, the inbox. Again, we're just gonna dump all of our items in here. Um, but the added benefit of having multiple inboxes, so I'm just going to open up the work section. You can see I've got a work inbox and I've got a life inbox. Now, why would I have these two reasons? One is that, uh, as you add more items to this capture list, you, you know, you get, becomes a habit. You get more used to it. You add more stuff in here. And then when you want to start to separate them, you know, it can be, it can be, it can take some time. Basically, if you want to break down, you've got a project in here, it's got a bunch of steps. You might want to just start working on it so that 
that can be a temptation if you're someone that easily gets distracted. You know, it's let's say it's Monday morning and I've got a bunch of stuff in my my inbox here. It would be far too easy for me to get distracted and start, you know, sorting the items and then breaking them down instead of focusing on just the work stuff that I need to focus on right now. So to prevent that, the first thing we do, again, I would do this every at the beginning of every day, sort the items. Uh, I would sort them uh, as they are without changing anything into their respective area. So the, uh, for example, these two items would go into the life inbox. And then this item right here would go into the work inbox, right? It's Monday morning. I'm, I'm getting to work. I would open up the uh, work section and then check the work inbox and work from there. So I didn't, you know, spend or waste any time looking, uh, analyzing all the stuff that I have to do uh, in my personal life. I'm just focusing on my work stuff. So if you're someone that easily gets distracted, this would be a, a nice system to, to set up. So that's multiple inboxes. So in this last example, I'm going to show you how to use inboxes in a team. We've got a, an imaginary company here, Crumb Co. So we'll, you know, pretending that there's some sort of a, of a bakery uh, company. And we've got the team here. We've got the three members of the team. And we also have an additional unassigned uh, bullet. So this would be kind of like the catch-all for all the items that don't are not assigned to a particular person. Um, so we've got our team inbox. And of course, this this main bullet that holds everything would be the bullet that you you share and then you share that uh, that you are all with the rest of the team or you invite the team members using the share option. So the idea here is very similar to the, the other systems where you're just using it yourself. We have an activity section, which is kind of our, our main board. And in this example, it's broken down by days of the week. So we've got you know, Monday through Sunday. We've got the different items for that. A particular day and they are assigned to the team members so if i click on any one of these we can see what activities each person has to do for that day so again very similar principle everything that needs to be done at this business uh, that isn't assigned to anyone you know we just come up with an idea we come up with a task rather like place coffee bean orders or you know we've got a campaign because it's national cherry month and we want to promote some new pastries or whatever we would add that into unassigned because we're not maybe not sure who's going to work on that just yet. Once we are sure of who's going to work on that, then we would drop them into the person's individual inbox, right? And at the beginning of the, their day, they would do the same thing. They would check their inboxes, see what items they have to do, and then they would either, you know, they could have their own calendar bullet and either schedule them, or if they're going to work on them this week, they would drop them into the activities board, tag it, uh, tag themselves basically. And then they would, you know, continue to work from there. So very similar idea. We're just creating an individual uh, inbox for each team member. And we're dropping the items that need to be taken care of for that team member in their inbox. They would check it at the beginning of the day. And then they would sort it, you know, whether they're going to work on it sometime in the future or whether they're gonna, they want to assign it uh, for this week. However, they like to uh, organize that. So that's basically it. I hope you got some ideas about how you could incorporate an inbox into your own workflow. And I also hope it's clear why you might want to do this, just to give you a nice, simple place to drop all your items, get into the habit of taking notes so you're not constantly thinking about things and trying to write them down, and then you end up losing all your, your notes, your ideas, all those million-dollar ideas don't get lost You know, among a stack of sticky notes. They're all in one place. They're available everywhere on all your uh, devices. You can share them. You can build on them. There's so many things, there's so many benefits to, to having a system to uh, input all of your ideas and items into Workflow. And be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so. So I'll see you in the next video.